In part one of our series Mind Games, we showed you the stories of two area women who say they were scammed by clairvoyant Patricia Johns. Both say they gave thousands of dollars to Johns and got nothing but trouble in return. In part two, Joe LePage asked the self-proclaimed healer to tell her side of the story. It's been an emotional roller coaster for two women who say they were scammed by clairvoyant Patricia Johns. According to them, Johns used their personal troubles to get close, then get their money. I considered her family. The women say the financial stress was affecting their emotional state. I was calling in. I just couldn't find myself because I was too scared to walk out the door. On John's website, theastrologygallery.com, there are several testimonials praising her services, from Annabelle in Australia to Jeff in Lafayette. So we set out to hear from the source. Is John's the real deal, as she claims to be, or is she a cheat? We went to her house and office at 2119 South Street in Lafayette. We rang the doorbell, no answer, so we gave her a call. Is this Patricia? Yes, it is. This is Joe from News Channel 18. I was just calling. Uh, we got a couple reports from, from, I guess, some past clients of yours uh, saying they, they were scammed or something like that, and we were calling to, to maybe get your side and and maybe get a, an explanation uh, from you about maybe some of the things that you do in part of your practice. I don't have any comments. But the, the $20,000 for an amethyst crystal, something like that, a, a Rolex watch or some jewelry, things like that, um, you know, do you, do you have any comment on I those things? I don't have any comments. It, are, are you a scam artist? I have no comments. A, a yes or no would, would suffice. Do you, do you scam people saying that you'll make their dreams come true when, in fact, it, you don't have those plans at all? Hello? She hung up. As far as getting even part of their money back, Jason Cottrell with the law firm Bennett, Benning & Clary says it could happen. A supplier of service or, or a product makes a claim of a certain type of service or performance or quality of that performance and knows at the time of making that statement uh, that, that they cannot provide that said performance or, or said product, then they are liable. Cottrell admits it'd be a tough sell to a jury because the women voluntarily met with Johns. Our victims say they realize there's little chance of getting any of their money back, so they're working on the emotional in different ways. I'm a really strong person, so I made it come back. I bounced right back, but I was just... I was devastated there for a while. God walked me through it all. He helped me. And he will help others too. They don't need people like that. Both women say they lost big in Patricia John's mind game, but they're coming out stronger on the other side. Joe LePage, News Channel 18. News Channel 18 talked to Lafayette Police Det Department detectives about the complaints filed against Patricia Johns. They tell us they are investigating. To see our complete interviews from both of our alleged victims, head to our website at WLFI.com. Turn to weather now. Boy, it's a chilly, chilly. Very cold out.